Well, hello, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. And where we are is we're in Belfast and we're at Mount Pottinger Presbyterian Church, which is in Castle Ray Street in Belfast. And you can see what it says there, to love as Jesus has loved us and to share that love with others. And there's a few wee uh, plaques here inside the church that I'm going to show you. And this is a rule of honour. And it says, this tablet is erected in grateful appreciation of those connected with this church who voluntarily joined in active service for king and country during the Great European War, 1914 to 1918. And so if you want to read the names there, you can uh, pause the video. And it says at the bottom, God is our refuge and strength. And there's another one I'm going to show you, and then I'm going to show you uh, the... the First Minister of the Church, a plaque to him. But I'm going to show you this one here as well, because this says, Killed in Action. And this tablet is erected in loving memory of those connected with this church who fell during the Great European War, 1914 to 1918. And so you can see the first one there is a second lieutenant, George J. Irvine. And uh, so you can pause the video there and you can you can read right down there, and it says faithful until unto death. But the next one that I want to show you is this memorial plaque here. And of course, this is in the hall of the church, just as you come through the front doors. And it says, erected by the members of Mount Pottinger, Presbyterian Church, in memory of the Reverend David Hunter, the first pastor by whose labours the, the congregation was founded and this edifice erected. It says he was an able preacher, a faithful pastor, an affectionate friend and a benefactor to the poor. He died 14th of November 1884 at the age of 42. After a pastorate of 17 years, deeply regretted by his flock, and a wide circle of friends. And then it says, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. So there you go. And so you can see hope and you can see peace. And of course, our hope and our peace is found in Jesus. And here you can see the, uh, that's the Boys Brigade badge. And of course, I used to be in the Boys Brigade. The Boys Brigade, only I wasn't in this one. I was in the like a curry one near Lisburn. And that's the badge of the Presbyterian Church, Arden's Seed Verins. So we're going to have a wee look around the church here. And I'm going to do a few wee videos in this church. But uh, absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Beautiful church. And you can see the pews. So absolutely fantastic. And that's some ceiling as well that they have, isn't it? Beautiful. And then the big pipe organ. And very modern as well. You can see the microphones. And also the drum kit. And they've got the organ there as well. So, uh, they're certainly very modern. So, I'm going to do, as I say, a few videos here because there's a wee bit of history and whatnot that I want to talk to you about of this church but first of all uh, I'm going to do some of the memorials in here and this one is uh, erected by the members of this congregation to the glory of God and an affectionate remembrance of the Reverend Robert Duff for 27 years the beloved pastor of this church who died 16th of January 1925 he was an able and eloquent preacher a faithful pastor and a devoted servant of God, deeply regretted by this congregation and all who knew him. Then it says, Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. Revelation chapter 14, verse 13. So, pretty amazing. And I'm going to show you another board here. And this is a more modern board here. So this board is from 1993 to the present day. And I'll read a wee bit at the top one, and then I want to read 
the bottom one, because the bottom one is, is in connection with the Belfast City Mission. So it says, Reverend William J. Horsher was installed as Minister of Mount Pottinger on the 19th of April, 1993. At his first session, meeting Mr. Horsher indicated, indicated he wanted to impact the local community around the church and intended to commence door-to-door -door outreach on a weekly basis. He also planned to extend the work of the home Bible study groups. He was most con conscientious in his endeavours to do so and was passionate about this outreach initiative. And then it says, Mr. Harshaw was instrumental in inspiring the Clearing Your Vision programme, which was aimed at developing the life and witness of the congre congregation. And uh, then it goes on. So you can pause the video and read the rest of that. And there's the Reverend Harsha himself. And of course, you can see there some of the activities of the church. Um, but it's this gentleman here also that I want to draw your attention to. You because his name is the Reverend Johnson Lamb. And it says here, on the 3rd of November, 1999, Reverend Johnson Lamb was installed in the congregation of Mount Pottinger and has been welcomed into the congregation with a genuine warmth and affection by all. His roots as a Belfast City missionary have given him many different skills and talents to share, to sh to share with the congregation as we continue to reach into the community in which we are placed. During his ministry, we have seen the development of many aspects of congregational life, including a men's meetup and lunch, the opening of the charity shop, Mission Possible, a neighbours and traders Christmas dinner, and the continued outreach into the community, particularly with the children and young people. The introduction of Mask at their school's homework club and such initiatives as Off the Street have been a blessing to those who serve in this area, as well as a much needed support to those who attend. Our purpose is to see Christ's kingdom extended within the fellowship of Mount Pottinger and the community in which we are placed. We celebrate 150 years of service in this corner of East Belfast and we look forward to seeing what God has planned for the future as we prayerfully seek his guidance and will for Mount Pottinger in the years that lie ahead. So there you go. So there's one more we memorial I'm going to show you and then we'll wrap this wee video up. There you can see the pipe organ, and it's this one here. Now, what I might have to do is get my trusty torch out for this one, if I can find it. And I've got it here, so because it is a wee bit hard to see, so hopefully this will help. The War Memorial organ and roll of honour erected by the congregation are dedicated to the glory of God in gratitude to those who served and in loving memory of those who gave their lives for freedom in the World War 1939 to 1945 and that's those who served so you can pause the video and read that and there's a James A. Porter at the top there but don't know if he's any relation to me or not. And then it says, they give their lives. And so that's she Allen, Henry J. Christie, Charles L. Hamilton, Robert Irvine, Robert McMillan, Albert Neely, Joseph W. Savage, Morris F. C. Simpson, and Wilson A. Stevenson. So there you go. And uh, there you can see the decoration, the artistic decoration there of the... Uh, the balcony. So thanks for watching and God bless.